Dutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Desert Queen. You remember last time, Clutch and company luckily escaped the razor-sharp knife of Pungees. Clutch, Spinner, and Paddlefoot went back inside in search of Twaddle. No, Paddlefoot, don't. There may be a curse on that mummy. He's unwinding the bandage, Clutch. Stop him. It's too late, Spinner. The damage is done. And look, it's Colonel Twaddle. Is, is he all right, Clutch? He's alive, but that was a close one. Just a few more minutes and he'd have been a real mummy. I bet we can thank Big Ma for this. Thank Paddlefoot. He's the real hero. <laughs> Where am I? What happened? You're going to be all right, Colonel Twaddle. That was a tight one. I'll say, just like my first tuxedo. Stay with him, Spinner. I want to look around. We've got to find a way out. Sometimes these walls have secret doors. No, nope. no luck. I feel much better, Clutch. Raring to go. I'll teach them to twiddle with Twaddle. Good, Colonel. Together, maybe we can find a way out. Right behind Clutch and his friends, an ancient sarcophagus slowly opens. Oh, no. Not another live one. She sure looks alive to me. I can't believe it. Must be my Uncle Water Fever coming back. That's not Fever, Twaddle. She's real. Shh. She's going to speak. I welcome you to my palace, gentlemen. I am the Desert Queen. Thank you for all of us, Your Highness. May I ask who you are? This gentleman is Colonel Lucifer Twaddle, prehistoric bone specialist. And this is Spinner, my young pal, and his dog, Paddlefoot. My name is Clutch Cargo. I am highly honored, sir. I have read your adventure book. Who sent you here? The King of Monrovia sent us to find you to plead with you to return the priceless 29-pound ruby to the National Museum. Sir, I do not have the ruby, nor have I seen it since I left it in the museum. Well, the ruby has disappeared, and as the story goes, you are supposed to have sent someone to steal it. This is terrible. I have always believed the ruby should remain in the Monrovia Museum. Who could have taken it? Clutch! Do you think Big Ma... Just a moment, Spinner. Do you know the Maharaja of Sphinxville, Your Highness? Very well. He is one of my most trusted subjects. Maybe so, but nevertheless a very dangerous man. Clutch tells the Queen about their trip and their narrow escapes, and how they always saw Big Ma running from the scene. We must be careful. If what you say is true, the Maharaja may be planning to seize my throne. Ears have heard every word that was said, for just inside the mummy case door, a huge figure lurks. Please be quiet. These tunnels echo. Stay together, everyone. Right, Clutch. Strange man, the Maharaja, always carrying that big basket. I've never asked him, but I think that is his briefcase. Well, he told Spinner it was a gift for his grandson. Said it was a cobra. Right, Spinner? Spinner? They're gone. Disappeared in thin air. Colonel Twaddle! But well, they couldn't have gone far. Well, there's another door right... <gasps> Spinner and Twaddle gone. The Queen kidnapped. And Clutch knocked out cold. Is this the end? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo.